Welcome back HubSpot Heroes. Today, I teach you how to use HubSpot effortlessly. Let's learn how to use personalization token in HubSpot in less than 59 seconds. So I'm sure you want to use this kind of token because you want to personalize your email marketing content for your follow-ups after a demo, after a sales call, or after a specific email. But I'm sure you don't want to change for the first name, last name, company, city, country. You want to pull this value directly from the object and you don't have to copy paste manually. I'm all with you, but you need to set this up really carefully because you don't want to say hello, no name. I'm sure you did that. Don't worry, I did it too. Let's learn how to use personalization tokens in your marketing emails and your one-to-one -one email. So head to your HubSpot. In the first part, we will do that for snippets and after we check for marketing emails. So for snippets, you need to go to library, then snippets, and you create a new snippet. I've put an example of a snippet with an internal name and the shortcut when I want to pull the snippet. And now you see you have some uh, value you want to dynamically change according to the contact and the company. So for first name, it's very really simple. I will erase that and I click on personalize and you have to search on the insert personalization token. So I search for first name and now you have it, you see. For company, you do have the company name inside the contact object, but I do recommend to use the company object because the company name on the contact object is no longer supported inside of Spot. It's better to use the company name of the company object. I click on personalize, you search for the type company, and then you search for company name. You can do for the city too. So city, you can use the city of the contact or the city of uh, the company. We use the city of the contact. You can do the same for country. Remember, you can use all objects associated to the contact. So you can use deal, ticket, or even the sender. So me as a sender. You can personalize the email signature. Now I can click on sales snippet. If you want to do for marketing, I go to marketing email. And I can select any template. I'm on my marketing email. And for example, I can click here. Thank you for choosing us. I want to put the first name of the contact. So I click on personalize, search for first name, and you have your first name. This is a fallback value. It means that if the contact property is empty, what do we say here? So you can leave it empty or add a placeholder. You click on insert and now contact will see, thank you for choosing us, Bastion, if the first name is Bastion. You can do that with other objects. You can do that with primary company, deal, ticket, card, invoice, code, subscription, office location, and subscription type. If you go to settings, you have your subject line and preview text. And of course, you can also use personalization token over there. Click here on personalize, you have contact and you can access to any object. I can click on contact here, search for first name and put it here by inserting. And now you have it. And so people will dynamically see their first name in the preview text in your email marketing. And of course, don't forget to click on updates, publish update. So I hope this tutorial helps you to better understand how to use personalization token inside of Spot and save many time for you and your team. If you really like this video, do not hesitate to subscribe to my channel so you can get more videos like that. And until next time, see you to the next video.